Peace be to you. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant and health educator. I wanted to answer the question of a couple of of um, viewers of my YouTube channel who are foreign medical graduates or who have got degrees from um, places outside of the United States. And the question is whether those degrees that you attained are transferable to the PA program to which you're trying to apply. Now the answer to that is, uh, is um, um, so many other answers that I've given is it depends. It depends on the PA program to which you are applying. Right now the physician assistant um, academic paradigm is not as streamlined as it could be. Certainly not as streamlined as, as I would like it to be. Um, so you may have, let's say, 200 different physician assistant programs in the country. Um, I'm just using that as a nice round number. Of that, of that 200 programs, you know, you may have 200 different course requirements. They all may have the same core requirements in terms of physics, chemistry, um, general chemistry, organic chemistry. Uh, and certain math, English, and, and writing requirements. But they may have different requirements in terms of what they may accept. Some programs may not accept um, people who have graduated from, from outside of the U.S. They may not accept their degrees. Some programs may not re accept the core requirements from universities other than, than their own. Meaning if you took if you took courses at community colleges and then came to the PA program in question and said, well, I took general chem, physics, and organic chemistry at the local community college. Can I transfer them here? Certain PA programs may not accept that. It depends on the program in, in question. Um, in terms of things like uh, direct patient contact hours, the program has the right to still uh, determine what they're going to accept. You can challenge it, but it's really up to that particular program. It, and I, I say this because I, I was counseling a, a young lady who was planning on applying to a PA school, and she was she had done a lot of work in the in the um, the healthcare field, but it was more administrative and research. Um, she didn't have what I considered to be a significant amount of direct patient contact hours. It was more like a, a kind of clinical research. And she said, well, you know, I'm not going to take, you know, I'm not going to waste a bunch of time doing something else in another field only to try to apply to a PA school later. And I also said, well, you may have to take some of your courses again because it's been longer than, you know, eight years or 10 years. She said, well, I'm not taking those again. Well, I said, you can challenge them, but it's really up to the school to decide what you're, what they are going to accept. You know, I had to go through the same thing. You know, I, I there was there was a ten year gap between my freshman year of college and the time that I actually was, or an eight year gap rather, uh, from the time that I started my freshman year of college. Respiratory to room two forty nine. Respiratory to room two forty nine. Um, I started my freshman year in 1988, and then I applied to PA school in 1996. So that was eight years. Well, when I applied to Howard, I think, I, I don't think they were, I think they were not accepting courses that were older than, than five years or, or eight years or something like that. But I, I had to take a couple of courses over again that I'd already had. Um, had to do it. That's all. <laughs> You know, if I wanted to get into the program, but um, in, in summary, you know, really, if you're if you're going to um, apply to PA school and be serious about it, or even medical school, you really have to go by the rules of the school to which you're applying. It's important that you contact that particular school. I would not even say go by what you see on the CASPA website. Um, go contact somebody at that particular school get their name, 
you know, whether it's it's a director of an admissions or, or a professor, and find out, you know, exactly what you have to take and what they will accept. Um, some schools have a policy where they don't engage students who are in the pre-professional phase, meaning they won't even counsel you, but you never know. So, um, yeah, that, that's what you that's what you got to go through. It's it's a it's a long road, but you know, it's worth it. I've been a PA for 17 years now. It's it's uh, definitely worth it. But I hope this was helpful to you guys. All right, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you um, have any interest in careers in the allied health field, uh, or science, or um, education, or interested in in um, uh, living a healthy lifestyle. Peace.